At this point, it kind of feels like San Martin is competing with itself. So since they released the SNO129 a while back, which I'm assuming sold like hotcakes, they've been spamming out a bunch of variants of that same watch, just with different dials. And I've generally not been interested in them because the desert dial was like a very unique thing at the time. But you know, they insisted on sending me one to take a look at in this unboxing video because they have been doing a lot of experimenting with the different minerals and materials. And here we go. So here's your look at the jade green version of the SNO129. Let's just get that nice and centralized there. So most parts of this watch are just as good as the previous version. Industry leading case finishing, basically. Beautiful polishing especially. And you have a nice well, plain but decent case back. Very, very good bracelet with their classic micro adjustment uh, system, which is becoming a little more uh, common now in the watch industry. This kind of super adjustable click and adjust system that's nice and concealed within the clasp. And while it looks okay, this definitely wouldn't be my preferred pick. I would go with the Aventurine or the Desert, no doubt. And the main reason is for some of these mineral based dials, you get a lot of natural imperfections as a result of the rock itself. And some of them rear their head here. So while you do get a great amount of texture, you'll see just some of the veins of the ore or whatever you call it, um, that just create these unusual portions just here and here. And at a glance, it kind of looks straight up like an imperfection or a mark on the dial when it isn't. But yeah, these things are practically inevitable on uh, watches like this. And what you'll find that brands do a lot of the time, not saying necessarily San Martin does this, but a lot of brands who go down this route of using experimental materials, they'll very much cherry pick the watch that they're photographing in the product shots to be one of the most pleasing iterations of this. And then the one you receive tends to normally look worse, or at least they won't have such a, uh, a pleasing cut of the mineral. So yeah, it looks okay. It's got a reasonable amount of texture and like with basically every other San Martin I've tried, it's a very high quality watch, but a couple of problems and also the date wheel alignment isn't perfect. Now, when I hold the watches in these videos, I do hold them uh, tilted back ever so slightly. So these things always look much worse than they actually are, just so I can get some good lighting. When it's square on even though, you'll see it still sits slightly too low in the window. It's not a million miles off, but it's certainly not good. So yeah, I'll link this one in the video description if you wanna take a look at it. They do do other ones. I think out of the other ones they've released, the best ones that I've seen were just variants on the dune dial one. So I think they had a, a purple one more recently that looked good and a red one. So if I was going to step away from the standard ones that they offer, it would probably be to one of those instead. Crown feels good. So yeah, thanks to uh, San Martin for sending this in. If you want to check out this watch or any of the other color variants they do with this one, then you can have a look too in the video description.